Hi guys, Mrs. Lewis here again today. Um, in class, we talked about and learned about the butterfly. We learned that the butterfly has four different stages of life called metamorphosis. We also learned about the different body parts of the butterfly. But I thought I would show you a fun project to show about the four different stages of a butterfly's life. Um, I took a paper plate. This is the project that we're going to do together. I took a paper plate and divided it into four parts and used different types of pasta and rice and markers and glue and scissors to highlight the four different stages of a butterfly's life. So let me show you how we did this. Um, I started with a paper plate and it might be easier on a plain, plain paper plate, but this is all I had in the house. So I've been trying to do projects with just things I have around the house because I haven't been going out much. Um, so I divided my paper plate into four parts. If you don't have a paper plate, you can obviously just take um, a plain sheet of paper or lines paper and of course, you know, fold it in your four different parts. We just need something um, so you're gonna have four sections. So once you get your plate folded, kind of straighten it out. I took a Sharpie and did the lines and then um, I wrote the four stages of a butterfly's life. So butterflies start out as eggs and how I made the eggs is I took um, a piece of green paper and I cut a leaf, any shape leaf you want. Um, on my project, I happen to use my fun favorite scissors that I have that have a um, zigzag edge also just cut out whatever or you can um, even draw um, the shape of a leaf on here but all butterflies typically lay their eggs on a leaf so once I have my leaf ready or you can glue the leaf on to your section that is labeled eggs I took some little grains of rice and glued them on my paper, and those represent my eggs. And then in the next section, um, in the larva stage of the caterpillars, or of the butterfly's life, also known as a caterpillar, I used just a regular egg noodle, and I took the noodle, and I took a Sharpie marker, and I colored it, and that one I broke, <laughs> but I colored it. I put a couple little eyeballs on it. Um, I put black stripes around the edge. Um, if you don't have this shape of noodle, you can do it maybe with like a rigatoni noodle or find different things around the house that would um, work. So the next stage of the butterfly's life is the pupa or chrysalis stage. And I took just a little twig, excuse me, a little twig I found outside. Um, this happens to be a little piece of mulch from my garden. And I used this fun kind of pasta. It's a curled up kind of pasta. And again, I took my marker and I colored it green to represent the chrysalis. And when the butter, when the caterpillar goes from being a caterpillar to forming a hard shell around the outside of itself in the chrysalis, it totally transforms. And when it's in there long enough and its body has done what it needs to do, it metamorphosizes into a butterfly. And how I made the butterfly was really kind of fun. I took this um, bow tie pasta um, and I used a bread twisty and I just twisted the twisty around the center of the butterfly and used that for the antenna. I trimmed them up a little bit. And then again, I took my marker and I colored my butterfly the colors I wanted it. 
and glued it onto my paper. Now, if you don't have these different types of pasta around your house, get creative. Find different objects around your house. How about trying to make a butterfly out of different kinds of chips? This could represent your butterfly wings. A curled up chip could be your chrysalis. What about different shapes of cereal? See what you have around your house and see what you can use to make it look like the four different stages in a butterfly's life. Have fun, get creative, and I hope you enjoyed learning a little more about the butterfly.